Hey guys, this is Craven Gaccio with AC Service Tech, and in this HVACR training video, we're going over the three stem positions of a king valve and other three position service valves. So this one right here came off of the suction side of a compressor for refrigeration. This right here mounted to the receiver tank of a refrigeration system, and this three position valve right here was mounted on the suction side of an air conditioning system. So the three position service valves are found on multiple types of units. The first position we're going to go over is the back seat position, and that's when this stem is turned counterclockwise all the way up. So this port right here does not have a valve core, and so basically when you have this in the back seat position, it locks this port off from the refrigerant in the system. So that's your back seat position. Your this is where the compressor mounts, and so you have the compressor connected to the suction line going to the evaporator when you have the back seat position with the port disconnected. The next position is the mid seat position for checking the refrigerant charge and adding small amounts of refrigerant. So it is 180 degrees turned clockwise downward from the back seat position. So, so all you're doing is moving it clockwise 180 degrees and you're opening this little tiny opening up in order for the refrigerant to come over to this port right here. The next position is still the mid-seat position, but it's halfway down. So the reason for this is so that you have a large opening here to connect this tube, and then also a large opening in here. By having these large openings available, you're going to be able to recover the full amount of refrigerant from the system without any restrictions heading over to this port right here. Also, if this system was empty and you're trying to vacuum it, there's not going to be any restrictions as well. The next position is the front seat position. And if you look down in there, there's a there's a lip and where this is going to seat at. And when you front seat this, you have to turn it hard clockwise until it's all the way down. That's going to separate the refrigerant from right here at the compressor to the evaporator. But what's going to happen is this port is still going to be connected to the compressor. So technically, that's four positions. You have the front seat. Then you have the mid seat for the vacuuming and for recovery. Then you have the mid seat, which is a small opening, and that's for checking the refrigerant charge and adding small amounts of refrigerant. And then you have the back seat position, and that's when the system is normally operating and you, you don't have the, the hose connected here. But any other time when you are working on this system in any of the mid seats or the front seat, you're going to have the hose connected if there's refrigerant in here because there's no uh, valve core here to stop the refrigerant flow. So this is the suction side. This right here is a king valve, and this is mounted to the receiver tank right here. And when this is in the front seat position all the way down, it shuts off the, the liquid a line going to the TXV from the receiver tank. When it's mid-seated, you can perform a vacuum, you can perform a recovery, um, and you could also check the refrigerant charge as well when you have it in the higher mid-seat position. And when you have this fully back-seated, that's when this port is cut off right here. And this three position service valve is used for air conditioning. So the main difference is that when this is front seated, it's shutting off this tube that would connect to the compressor or into the accumulator and then the compressor from these two tubes here. So when this is front seated, you're gonna have the port and the evaporator still connected. So that's different from the three position service valve used for refrigeration. When this one's front seated, you're shutting off the evaporator coil and then you still have the compressor uh, right here connected to the port. When this one's back seated, it's the same thing. You are shutting off the port from your evaporator and from your compressor, but these two tubes are still connected. And the mid seat, both mid-seat positions are going to be the same as the refrigeration systems. Check out our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. We have that as an ebook and also in paperback form over to our website at acservicetech.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.